Dear learners, now let's understand what is VED analysis. So before we understand what is VED, the main part here is the criteria used for VED analysis is the criticality of the products. Now there are certain inventories which may be negligible in the cost, but they are vital in the production process or in the assembly process or to run the plant operations. So these are the inventories which are important by their absence than their presence. If such inventories are stock out, it has a direct impact on slowdown of the production or even idle mode of workers or machines in the assembly line and which includes stock out or penalty cost due to delays in the order fulfillment. Now VED stands for vital, essential and desirable. All those three definitions shows criteria of inventory classification as a criticality of the product. Now let us understand what is V class, E class and D class products. So V class products are, these are the products without which there is a high loss in production or assembly process and assembly or production can almost stop. So without these products, the assembly and production can be completely stopped and that's why they are considered as a vital product. So absence of V-class product is a highest risk in the manufacturing environment. The second class of product is E-class product. Now this is the product without which there may be a temporary or moderate loss in terms of production or in terms of assembly line and that's why these products are referred as essential. And that's why absence of E-class product is a moderate risk in the production or assembly line. Now what is D-class product? So D-class products are, these are products which are required but they are not creating any immediate cause of production stoppage. Hence they are referred as desirable product. And hence absence of D-class product is usually a tolerable risk for the businesses. Now let's understand the example of V, E and D-class. Now as far as vital products are concerned, let's consider an example of hospital industry. So in V-class there are products like life-saving medications or specialized medical equipments which are required for critical procedures of the patient care and we can also consider essential surgical tools that are providing uh, immediate medical attention to the patients and without these products it will be a high risk for the patient's life we can take a simple example of COVID.